Hey there, I'm Richard Brandt, Monos Historian, and you're watching Stream It Now. I don't know how Tubi TV keeps doing it. Just days after I posted a huge batch of new movies, they're back with 29 more new arrivals. And this time, it's all killer, no filler. No unauthorized celeb biographies or no-budget horror films this time. No, they've even got movies that they're showing for free, which Amazon Prime just added to their page service yesterday like Bud Cord and Ruth Gordon in Hal Ashby's classic Harold and Maude, or Woody Allen in Helen Hunt in Curse of the Jade Scorpion. There's Oscar-winning classics, too, like Faye Dunaway and Jack Nicholson in Roman Polanski's Chinatown, or Michael Douglas, Francis McDormand, Robert Downey Jr. and Tobey Maguire, and Katie Holmes, for good measure, in Curtis Hansen's adaptation of Michael Chabon's Wonder Boys featuring the Oscar-winning theme song by Bob Dylan. He may not have an Emmy and a Tony, but Bob has an Oscar and a Nobel Prize for Literature, so I think that puts all those other folks to shame. Also new today, Robin Wright and Naomi Watts have an illicit romance, not with each other, that would be bad enough, in the Australian drama Adore. David Oyoolo gets shown the purpose-driven life way by Kate Mara in the true life thriller Captive. Robert Downey Jr.'s Oscar-nominated portrayal of Chaplin. Dan Aykroyd and Jane Curtin are Coneheads. Brad Pitt, Kim Basinger, and Gabriel Byrne in Ralph Bakshi's blend of animation and live-action detective movie Cool World. Sally Field in the revenge thriller Eye for an Eye. Fairy Tale, a true story, a movie I really want to like more, stars Harvey Keitel and Peter O'Toole as Harry Houdini and Arthur Conan Doyle, friends but rivals. Houdini, of course, a skeptic, and Doyle, although he wrote Sherlock Holmes, by then a confirmed believer in the paranormal. Anyway, these two teamed up to investigate the story of two girls who claim to have photographed fairies at the bottom of their garden. Now, there's a lot to admire about Fairy Tale, a true story. It takes an unflinching look at the horrors left behind by World War I, and it does fairly much come out and acknowledge that the pictures in the fairy story were fakes. At the same time, the filmmakers want to show you those fairies. So, moving right along. Femme Fatale. Now, this is not the Brian De Palma thriller with Rebecca Romaine. No, this is from 1991 with an even more intriguing cast, I think. Colin Firth, Billy Zane, Lisa Zane, Lisa Blunt, and Danny Trejo. Flesh and Bone, a grim crime drama starring Dennis Quaid, his then real-life leading lady Meg Ryan, James Kahn and a show-stealing performance by Gwyneth Paltrow. Flight of the Intruder is John Milius's gung-ho story of an unauthorized bombing raid over Hanoi. It stars Brad Johnson, Willem Dafoe, and Danny Glover. Meryl Streep in her Oscar-nominated performance of The Voice of the Century, Florence Foster Jenkins, Hilary Swank in Freedom Writers, Jamie Lee Curtis and Kevin Pollack in the family comedy House Arrest. James Woods in Killer, A Journal of a Murderer. Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin in Labor Day. Rodney Dangerfield in Ladybugs. Mike Myers, Jessica Alba, and Justin Timberlake in The Love Guru. Ed Harris and Melanie Griffith, when she was really still hot, in Milk Money. Lee Evans and Nathan Lane in Gore Verbinski's slapstick fest, Mouse Hunt. The sequel, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. Richard Gere and a breakout performance by Laura Linney helped make the courtroom thriller Primal Fear, but the real honors and an Oscar nomination went to Edward Norton in his debut as the suspect. Billy Bob Thornton, Bill Paxton, and Bridget Fonda in Sam Raimi's superb thriller, A Simple Plan, and Nicolas Cage in Brian De Palma's thriller, Snake Eyes, Timothy Hutton and Lara Flynn Boyle in the thriller, The Temp, 
in Anna Bellisiora in the psychological thriller Whispers in the Dark.